Hey guys, it's Rumi the math person, and today I'll be going over question number 323 on the SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to solve this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you paused the problem, or you tried this out yourself, let's dive right into it. It says the two independent, two independent estimates are to be made on a building damaged by a fire. Each estimate is normally distributed. Normally distributed. Again. If whenever I see the word normally distributed, I always think of z score. Z score, yeah, yeah. With mean 10b and variance b squared. Calculate the probability that the first estimate is at least 20% higher than the second. Okay, so I think I'm gonna set the first estimate to the random variable x, and the second estimate to be a random variable y. So we're trying to find a probability that the first estimate is at least, so it has to be greater than, 2 um, 20 percent higher than the second. So that's 20 percent, 1.2 y. So this is what we're trying to find. Okay, okay. So this ha is definitely a uh, multivariate. We have to, but it's totally doable. Yeah, yeah, totally. We got this. We got this. So we can also restate this as probability that x minus 1.2 y is less than zero or greater than or equal, greater than zero and I'm actually going to define a new variable let's define this variable to be w and I'm going to say w is equal to x minus 1.2 y yes yes okay and in order to find a z-score we have to find the mean of w and the um, standard deviation of w Oof. Okay, so in order to do that, let's write down what we know. We know that the mean of x is 10b, and we also know that the mean of y is also 10b. And so in order to find the mean of w, which is equal to the mean of x minus the mean of, um, or I think I can just write it like this, 1.2 mean of y, we just have to plug that sucker in. So this is equal to 10b minus 1.2 10b. I think I put this in parentheses. Which can also be written, rewritten as 10b minus 12b, which is just equal to 2b. Now we, can, we have to find the standard deviation. The standard deviation of x is equal to b squared. Or no, no, no. They said the variance. Oh, perfect. That's what I wrote. I don't know. No, I didn't. I'm just lying. I'm just. And the variance of y, it, capital Y, is equal to b squared. Okay, so now we just have to find the standard deviation of w. And again, standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we can decide this is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of negative 1.2y okay and then this can be simplified to variance of x plus the variance or we can just take this 1.2 thing out but again this is the, one of the properties of variances that you have to take a square root when you take it out so it becomes negative 1.2 squared bars of y which can also be simplified to variance of x plus one, negative 1 1.2 squared is 1.44 variance of y. Alrighty, alrighty. We know everything now. We know the variance of x is b squared. 1.44 plus the variance of y is still b squared. <laughs> so we can actually take the factor the b squared out. So it becomes 1 plus 1.44 and the b squared just becomes b on the outside and this becomes 2.44 so that's pretty simple right this simplifies it a little bit so now we have all the information we need to take our um, find our normal distribution our probability so now we have so now because we set this to be y we're just finding the or to be w we're just finding the probability that w is greater than zero right so now we can just say this is w minus the standard deviation of oh, oh, the mean of w minus the standard deviation of w is greater than 0 minus 
the mean of w over the standard deviation of w. And we know that this is just equal to z, so that's z is greater than 0 minus, and we know the standard, the mean of w is just 2b over, we know the standard deviation of w is b square root of 2.44. The b's cancel out, and now you're left with negative 2 over square root of 2.44. Okay, so now let's check it out. When I plug that into the calculator, I get 2 divided by square root of 2.44 is equal to 2. So now we're actually finding this, um, the z-score of 1.28. So this is the area. So if I have a normal distribution, and this is like 1.28, we're finding the area that's right here. Yeah. Let me pull out my z-score. 1.28. I, can, I guess I can just use a negative 1.28. Negative 1.28, which is 0 .10, 0 0.1003. Okay, so we're probably right here. Okay, actually, what we found in our z-score was negative 1.28, but because it's cumulative, it's this part. And that part is 0 0.1003. So then that's equivalent to this part. The probability of this part, which is also 0 0.1003. So, prob so the probability that z is greater than 1.28, or z is greater than, yeah, yeah, is equal to 0 0.1003, which is answer B, which is, yep, yay! Again, if you have if you have questions, make sure you comment down below. If not, otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.